Alright guys, welcome back. This is Flippin' Windows and so today I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a customization tutorial in regards to icons. Um, if you guys wanted to, there are going to be two parts of this. Uh, one is going to be to import an icon, which in uh, this case is going to change it. And export means go ahead and take an icon that you can't normally take out and go ahead and uh, export it and extract it and save it as a bitmap, an icon, a PGN, or a cursor file. Uh, not so much a cursor file because they're usually the icons that you're going to be looking for. But anyways, yeah, so that's exactly what's going to be happening today. Also, if you guys want, um, click on my username, go to my channel. I have my channel updated too. Go ahead and post comments, post anything that you want, uh, any videos that you'd like me to go ahead and uh, make. And I'll go ahead and see what I can do. All right, so let's go ahead and get to it. The first part. It's going to be uh, using a program called Resource Hacker. Go ahead and set that up uh, from the file that I gave you on the zip file. Um, once you go ahead and set that up, what you want to do is with any icon that you want to go ahead and target, uh, let's just say, for example, uh, Start 8. Let's just say, go ahead and right click it, go to Properties. There's no way through the properties that you can go ahead and open a file location and grab the icon because there is no icon attached to it it's integrated so if you really want that icon or if you want to go ahead and change or uh, I take that back if you want to go ahead and change that icon to something uh, for your file what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click and you want to go ahead and open use using resource hacker now in here you want to go ahead and click on icon group you want to click on the plus sign you want to click on the 101 plus sign and then you want to click on the 1033 on the 1033 you want to go ahead and right click on it you want to go ahead and click replace resource and it's going to ask you to open file with a new icon so you want to go ahead and click that let's just say for example you want to go ahead and look for your icon hopefully you do have an icon ready to go ahead and replace this so I got a Windows 8 icon um, the new Windows 8 I'm going to go ahead and select that, press open. I'm going to go ahead and press replace once I found my icon. Okay, it looks a little trashy right there, but that's okay. All you have to do, just click on file and click save. And that should go ahead and save it. So I'm going to go ahead and file exit here because I got my new icon. So if you want, you can go ahead and delete this. This is still the same program. But just with a different icon it looks a lot better too because it's window 8 um, official so that's the part for importing or in my case going ahead and changing the icon that can't normally be changed because it's an executable file or a .dll file so if you wanted to go ahead and just say for example i wanted to go ahead and extract that icon and make it a bitmap or a pgn or an icon for something else what you want to do is you want to go ahead and click on this program called uh, BCY Icon Grabber. You want to go ahead and right click on it, open it. This will come up. And you want to go ahead and navigate to the uh, icon of the program that you want. Let's just say Metro UI Tweaker, for example. I want to go ahead and export that and I want to make that an icon or a PGN. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on it. By doing that, I'm going to click on Save right here where my arrow is or where it's highlighted at and I got options to save a type as a icon a cursor a bitmap or a PGN so I'm gonna save it as an icon I'm gonna save it on my desktop I'm gonna press save now going back to the desktop you can see that I saved it as a icon uh, that goes the same thing with anything for that matter Go ahead and go here, go to the executable file right here, click on that, save that, being that that's an icon, uh, I want to go ahead and save it as a PGN. So save that as desktop, and there you have it, you have a PGN. Actually, if you take a look at it, it might be a little different in quality. Yeah, I do think so. So PGN actually might be a bad idea. I believe so. So let's try that again. 
Ah, there we go. Let's go ahead and save that. Replace that. Bam, it should look a lot clearer. There we go, see? So 256 or below is a lot better. Um, in regards to 256, you want the 32-bit. No, not the 32-bit. You want the 256 32-bit or whatever looks clear to you. So that's exactly how you export and import icons. So if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and also check out my channel. I have a bunch of other things available for you in regards to Windows 8. That's all you have to do is just click on my name and then you should be set. All right. All right. Take care, guys. Bye.